Hey, Diane Souther from Apple Hill Farm is in the News 9 kitchen today, and we are making fish with strawberries. I've never really thought to do this before, but you're oh. making a strawberry salsa. I am, and this is a fresh piece of swordfish that came from Sanders Seafood. They'll be at the farmer's market tomorrow in Bedford. And, and it's really something to do that you can do outside because you can cook it on the grill. Mm -hmm. Swordfish is really thick and it holds together like a steak, so it's easy to cook on the grill. But what you want to do is you want to start out with a non-metallic dish, and we're going to put some balsamic vinaigrette in the bottom of it, just about a third of a cup. And we're going to coat the fish while you're warming up the grill. So you don't want to cook it for too long, maybe, you know, 10 minutes tops. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to take it out, pat it off, and then you're going to grill it on, the, on top of the grill. It takes about 15, 20 minutes, depending on the thickness. This one is a little bit thick. And then we're going to make a salsa that we're going to put on top and serve it with. So the salsa is a third of a cup of cut up strawberries. Use nice fresh ones, or you could use frozen ones if you've got some in the freezer. We're going to add a couple of green onions, a little bit of cilantro, of course. That's what makes the salsa good. And then just, this is the only thing not from New Hampshire, is a little bit of lime peel. And I've just shredded that up. And then to that, you're going to add just a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. And then it's just a matter of tossing that up. And you can mix this up while the, you're cooking the fish outside so it can sit for just a little while. And then you just want to stir it up until it's well coated. And you can smell the cilantro come out. And it just kind of cooks all together here. You don't even have to cook it. You're going to serve it raw right on top of the fish when the what fish is done. What a great idea. And, um, you know, kind of get the, the sweet, salty bits exactly. from the vinegar and the strawberries, oh, right? It's great. It's great. And you can use it on salmon. You know, as the holidays coming up for the 4th of July, everybody has salmon and peas. You could do this on top of salmon as well. Yeah, that sounds great. Now, I know that you're involved in a lot of different farmers markets around the state, but uh, there is the one in Bedford. Tell people about when that is held yes. and where. It's Tuesday afternoons from 3 to 6, and it's at the Catholic Church, St. Elizabeth Seton on um, Meeting House Road, which is just off River Road, so it's just a little bit south of 101. It's real easy to get to. The, there's a huge parking lot, and we've got about 35 different vendors from fish to meats to cheese. We have um, juice people. We have prepared foods folks. Lots of produce people. So it's, it's really great. It's a great market. Very diversified. And then on Saturday also you're in Concord. Yes, from 8.30 to noon on Capitol Street. And then of course back at the farm on 580 Mountain Road we still have Pick Your Own and the farm stand will be opening in maybe another week as we start to get in more produce. Alright, we have the strawberries now and pretty soon blueberries as oh, well. Oh, it's right around the corner. Yes, yeah, a little bit of sunny warm days and we'll have blueberries too. Excellent. Well this looks delicious. What a good idea. Thank you so much, Diane. We appreciate it. And we'll be right back. Thanks.